my name is Megan Tull, and welcome to Own Your Value and Earn Your Worth. This show is all about giving you a weekly dose of inspiration and motivation so you can grow both personally and professionally to start owning your value and earning your worth. So today I wanted to talk to you about um, a very important topic, the mindset for success. You probably have heard of the book, um, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Well, there's an amazing woman who has written a new version of that book called Think and Grow Rich for Women. So she is somebody that I really think has nailed it in terms of uh, developing an empowered mindset. And her name is... So today I would like to share with you eight powerful quotes from her book, um, from Sharon's book, that I think are really powerful and that you can use to help you create a mindset for success. So the first quote is, a man is not a plan. I know back in the day, you know, it was really important for women to find a, a man to marry, to take care of them, and to support them. But nowadays, you know, that doesn't always work. A woman really needs to learn how to become self-sufficient and really utilize her skills and talents so she can support herself. You never know what can happen in your life. You may be married and happy one day and, and then alone the next. I personally was a single mom for nine and a half years, so kind of know how that goes. So make sure you have um, some skills and talents that you can utilize um, to support yourself. And do not count on having a man to take care of you. The second quote is, indecision is a decision. So you can choose to say yes or no when a decision comes up in, in your life that you need to make. Either way, you can move forward. But when you decide to stay undecided, you will remain stuck. So whether it's a yes or no is okay, but just don't stay in that place where you're stuck and not able to move forward. The third quote is, to worry is to pray for what you don't want. Have you ever heard of the saying, what you think about, you bring about? Well, this is so true. You really want to start focusing on a solution to your problem or focus on what it is you do want. Then you can start attracting that into your life. The fourth quote is, we all have what we need to be successful already. Use your own power to create success and significance in your life. We are all whole and complete. God made us that way. But it's really up to us to take action and to use our skills and talents to reach our true potential. The fifth quote is, money is a tool. It helps you create the lifestyle that you want. So having a healthy mindset around money is essential in, in attracting it into your life. So money is actually just a reward for services. And the more money you're making in your career and your business represents the more people you're helping. So it's a, just a, a slight mindset shift around that. So money is a positive thing. You can do a lot of good things with your money. And you certainly can create and design the lifestyle of your dreams when you have an abundance of money. The sixth quote is, you're either a master to your money or a slave to it. So when it comes to money, you're either feeling contraction or expansion. Contraction is feelings of 
fear, frustration, scarcity, stress. Expansion is abundance, peace, or joy. So when it comes to your money situation, if you're feeling contraction, those feelings of frustration or fear, you need to really take a close look at your money situation. And instead of curling up in a ball and and letting fear paralyze you, you must make a plan to get out of debt. So make a plan and then start taking simple action steps toward that plan. And all of a sudden, you will start feeling lighter and you will start moving into expansion. So don't let that fear around money or lack of money paralyze you. Don't be a slave to your money. And number seven is each and every one of us is the CEO of our own lives. I love this one. So we get to choose what kind of life we want and then take the next necessary actions to support that. We can't count on anyone to do that for us, but we have the power to create that life. And really anything you think about or can dream up in your life, um, you can create it. And finally, quote number eight, are there doors that you need to close so that new doors can open? This is a big one. A lot of us are staying stuck in our old story operating from negative old belief systems that are no longer serving us, that are actually sabotaging our success, or we haven't forgiven uh, people in our lives that we feel have wronged us. So in order to move forward, you must identify those negative beliefs or thoughts that are holding you back. So acknowledge that they're there and accept them, but then you must release them. You have to release them to create the space to develop new, healthy, and empowering beliefs so you can start attracting the opportunities that you are seeking that will allow you to create the life of your dreams. So I hope these eight quotes today have inspired you to take control of your future and start really developing a mindset for success. I would love to invite you to my website, megantull.com, where you can take advantage of the many gifts and tools and resources that I have waiting for you to help you grow both personally and professionally. I want to thank you for spending your time here with me today. And until next time, be courageous take inspired action, and share your gifts with the world. Bye-bye for now.